Now we're back to learning JavaScript on Xism. This time I'm going to solve the hammy exercise. Let us find it right here on the exercises. In simple terms, we have two D and A strands. Now we're going to compare them. And whenever there is a difference, for example here, G and C, we have something called hamming. So we simply want to find the differences between these two strands and then save a number count for each one. It gets incremented inside of something called hamming. Let us check this first, here are our tests. So there is an extra case where the two strands don't have equal length and we have to throw an error. So let me take care of that first. So we throw this new error, strands must be of equal length. And then afterwards we return the hamming. You can see in these tests we always get two strands. For example here it's identical, just an A. I'll simply call it strand 1 and 2. And for this error to be thrown, they must be of unequal length. So what we need in our if condition is to simply compare strand 1.length to strand 2.length. And if it's unequal, we'll throw our error. Let me get rid of return and I simply run it and you can see we've already passed a couple of tests. So 6, 7, 8, 9. For example this one, first strand is 4 in length, second strand is 3, therefore our error is thrown. Now let's take care of the other ones where we actually have to have a value returned as our hamming. I've solved it by using our first strand. I've added the spread operator. So all of these letters are now individual elements you could say inside of an array. Then I've used reduce and I've defined three variables or hamming which we are going to return ultimately the nucleotide and you could see this i as an index counter We look at our instructions hamming is this nucleotide is in the first strand we're going to check one by one the letters and the i is the index for our second strand or we're going to check these nucleotides and compare them to the ones in strand one so what we need here is nucleotide once again that's for strand one and check if it's unequal to strand two at index position i so this is a comparison right here in the instructions And if this is the case, we want to increment our hamming. So we need a question mark right here, then plus plus hamming. So every time we find a difference, it's going to get incremented by one. If it's not true, the hamming just remains. And we'll have to add our zero. But I've missed a bracket, I believe. I've missed it right here. So I have to open the bracket right here because everything is part of our reduce. But if I haven't made other typos, we should be fine. Let me check it. And we've passed this. Let's for example check, I don't know, test 5 maybe. So here 9 differences are found, it is stored in hamming and this ultimately returned. On this is how you can solve this hamming exercise using JavaScript on Xism. I hope this video was helpful, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.